I can't remember the last time I'd gone weeks without any kind of sugar like that. And if the fight was still going on, I'm trying to think, uh, uh, what would I be, what would I be doing right now if the fight was next Saturday instead? Of, I, first of all, I probably wouldn't be doing this. I probably wouldn't be baking cookies. I'd actually got a fight back in uh, 2011. I was an MMA fighter at the time, but I was in college. I was a young guy, a uh, shady individual had told me, a promoter or some such, he's told me, hey, you get $400 if you just fight this guy. I took that fight and lost it. Well, I'll go back to mixed martial arts. So, oh, actually, you've been paid to fight. So now if you want to do mixed martial arts, you've got to do professional mixed martial arts. So now I'm stuck here in, uh, in my 20s. I've got a a loss, a professional boxing loss, that I can't really make up because I'm, I realized then I'm not a boxer. You're already there. That's one of those steps you've already done, you've already done there. My wife had gone to professional development and it was in this area, so we'd, we'd come up to Fayetteville for the weekend for her professional development and she was really inspired by the interest and the detail in education up here. She wanted to teach up here, so we both put in our applications. We were able to get work here and we moved up here and we had we have not been disappointed. I, I was a quiet kid, I would draw, draw comic books, I'd read comic books and watch cartoons. I didn't, I was never part of the, the cool crowd or the, the popular crowd, but I, I, was, I was okay with that, I knew who I was, but I knew that uh, there was just always something missing. I feel like the face-off is really the fight. I mean, because everything up prior to the fight, the training, the workout, all of that is done in preparation of the match. The face-off, you get to see who you've got, and you psychologically are gonna, you're gonna psych each other out. I didn't take a step back, I didn't blink, kept my eyes on him the whole time, and uh, his, his, I didn't take his bait. So I feel like I got the upper hand of that psychological showdown. I got a lot of my people coming to watch, and for me, I've got to prove to myself that this was a very difficult cut, a lot of uh, no sugar, all the working, all the running. I was, it, I was losing money because I wasn't working. I, I just did my regular job, I didn't do my side jobs. So money's going out the door, time's going out the door, less time with my family, and it can't all be for nothing. I know I can't do it forever. I want to see how far I can take it, no regrets. I don't want to regret not doing it enough. I don't want to regret staying in there too long and turning into a punching bag. I feel like uh, one more year is, uh, is a reasonable amount of time. I'm going to be in a, about at least as good a shape as I am now. And um, I can leave, it on a, leave things on a good note. He came at me, he was barking, he was growling, and he expected me to take a step back, to look away, do anything to show that he had me beat in that psychological showdown. He didn't. I just wanted to get one professional win and and avenge my loss from 10 years ago, from 2011 when I had lost a match. And um, I just thought I'd never do it. And finally I thought, you know, I'm gonna train, I'll do what I need to, I'm going to avenge that loss. And I did, now it's like, okay, I mean, I don't have anything to prove anymore. Now it's just like, how far can I go?